Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to make a video about Season 6 Max Earnings Strategy. Let's go. So the first thing is the Event Pass. It's always going to be the Event Pass, isn't it? Um, so, um, on the Event Pass, the pricing is $99.95 for the Premium, $599.95 for the Complete. So essentially, it's like pretty much any other season. Buy the event pass at the end, um, so you can tell um, more easily tell if it's been worth it by how far you get. Um, the strange thing this season is apparently it's going to take me 500 XP to get out of level one. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be out of like level three by the end of the season. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the next thing is the event quests. I would recommend doing the normal quests over these. However, always do these two because they're just easy social media ones. And yeah, stuff like that. The next thing is, yeah, daily and weekly quests. These will earn you roller season token or RST, um, which is generally better than um, RL like generally um, better than just getting XP um, because it, it's way more like you can get way more out of it and it's more worth your time um, because essentially let's say you needed um, like how much do you need you need the for on the season store let's say you're gonna get a 140 terahash miner that's that's 5,000 um, 5,000 RST, so what then is the same, sim well, I'm just going to see you play the event pass, so that'd be 500 XP. So that means, if, so there's this quest which ends you 5 XP, or one hundredth of the total, and on here, um, 15, or slightly under one hundredth of the total. However, that will also complete the play any game task which bumps up to 25 which is more than 20 and then as while you're doing that you'll probably get the win 40 games on both so that and then during that you'll also rack up some stuff on the weekly quest and so on and so on and so on until yeah it's way it's way better um the next thing is i forgot let me check the thing merging and parts so, yes, they implemented a proper merging system in this season. So, the, your, only of your old merged miners have become, have become legacy miners. Um, unless, the, if they're like Roller or RKS ones, stick them on the marketplace. Um, I had five iron, no, I had five merged ones and one unmerged one, and I earned one RLT50. But, merging. Don't do it if you have to buy parts specifically to do something, unless it's a very powerful miner. But um, if you just have parts, or you just, or you just like have have the miners just ch just sitting there, you don't really you don't really need to do anything with them. Um, and they're kind of lower tier miners, especially lower tier miners. Actually, if you've got a lot of them, you can merge them into a very powerful miner. So it's only super useful if you're one of the people who has absolutely filled all of their rooms like if like this person Wallace Pennington or whatever if they get loads and loads of parts then we could make they could merge all of these individual miners into like one room full of miners and then even have a higher hash rate by doing so. So it's way more useful if you're at the point where space is a thing that you have to worry about. Okay, so, um, and the other parts, you mostly get them by playing games. If there's some specific ones you need, marketplace. The next thing would be buying miners and the marketplace. So, Essentially, if you're going to buy miners, 99% of the time do it via the marketplace. If there's a really good deal on a weekly offer or something, or you're getting it via the event pass or the season store, 
do it that way. But um, I would never just go onto the minor section and be like, buy minor, buy minor. Because the El Monstro, 99 RLT. The El Monstro. 30 RLT. There's another rule I have while buying miners is I wouldn't consider buying a miner unless you need it for the, um, really, really need it for the bonus power if, unless you, what you've done, you've managed to, um, unless the miner has, I'm going to use the El Monster example again, unless you take the hash rate divided by three so in hash rate and terror hash divided by three and that number comes out bigger than the price that's when you should consider buying the miner if it doesn't come to that like i'll go back to marketplace like the dragon wing here definitely do not buy that you have to pay one RLT for every 300 giga hash and at that point <laughs> you're literally better off just going on to here and buying um the turn of roller minor s4s or el monstros or dream demolition 3000 <laughs> anyway so yeah sell all of your old miners on the marketplace that are what one star or you don't need or just, just random lower tier miners like, I'm back to this now, so, so I used to have all the Roller Arc S1s, I don't have them anymore, I sold them all, and I also sold a random Roller Miner S4 I had, um, that I probably, I got as a reward probably back in Season 3 or something. And as the last thing, RST. So I've already said about this, haven't I? The fact, RST, way better than games. But properly about our, or best in games, way better than um, the event pass XP quests. But how, how do you, how, what should you buy with them? So essentially, this is what you can buy with them. So I'd save up as much as you can until nearing the end of the season, and then just let's say you had 7,400 RST. You, could buy, you buy the corn popper, the community case, and then the craft components case four times or something along the lines of that because it essentially you buy the most expensive thing you can and then work your way down the ladder of expensive stuff essentially and that's how you get the best deal thanks for watching please like and subscribe leave a like if you enjoyed the video i guess and bye